What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, the number one space for photographers, entrepreneurs, and online content creators. For those of you who are new here, my name is Maria with Maria Thill Photography. I'm a professional destination photographer and videographer based in Maui, Hawaii. For the best advice on how to build and grow your photography business, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell to be notified every single week when I make a new video. Today, we're going over the 10 best gifts that you can get a photographer this holiday season. As you can see, I am rocking my festive jacket for you guys today. It is pretty hot here in Maui, but I thought that this was super cute with these cute little pom-poms on it. And I have to wear it for a holiday party on Friday. So I figured I'd just throw it on for you guys anyway. Okay, so item number one is a reflector. Now, you can find these on Amazon for like anywhere from $5 to $20. They're very affordable and they are amazing, especially if you're a natural light photographer and you need to bounce light or you need some additional shade. These are phenomenal. So I'm not gonna open this up because this one's actually kind of big, but I'll just kind of show you guys. So it comes with a gold reflector side and then a white diffusion side. Um, and then you can flip this inside out and there's a silver side and a black side as well. So you can do a lot with these. I bring it on shoots for emergencies or when I, like in case my flash runs out of battery all these different things were like, if I needed to bounce light, I could. So this, is, I, this isn't this is something that I use every day. However, it really, really helps. And I know I said I wasn't gonna open it up, but I think I am, because I wanna show you guys just a little bit, because I can even bounce it off my LEDs that I have. It's really cool. Ah, it's huge. <laughs> oh my God, this thing's huge. Okay, so you can see right now, I'm bouncing the LED light and giving myself a little fill on the opposite side. You can also, this is, this is, eh, we, eh. okay. You can put it below yourself for filming too and it will bounce light up and fill your face a little bit more with some fill light. But even if I put it over here, you can see a big difference. So that's my number one gift that if you are buying for a photographer, that's something that everyone could use and you can just have a lot of fun with it too. Okay, so gift number two. This is like another great gift that you could get for a photographer, but for me personally, I am always filling up media, like always. So I have like, probably five different hard drives, external hard drives, like five terabytes, uh, one terabyte, four terabytes, 50, I'm sorry, 500 gigs, like all these different sizes of har external hard drives that I use all the time. Um, and then when I'm done and they get full, they just go into storage and then I bring them out if I need them. But as a photographer, we're always saving a ton of media and a lot of times it's really large files. so. I would highly suggest getting a photographer a solid state drive and these are actually really affordable. You can find them on Amazon. I just stocked up on solid state drives for myself because I switched to um, these here. Let me show you. So I switched to these tiny little baby solid state drives. They are the Samsung 500 gigabyte solid state drives. Um, you can find them on Amazon for like I think $60 right now, which is so affordable for solid state, like ridiculous. So I'm gonna put the links to all of this stuff below, but this is one of the best gifts that you could get a photographer. And if you don't wanna spend that much money on a solid state drive, um, you can also, Costco does these little deals for um, SD cards and they have like the 128 gig, SD cards. I think it's, I think you get two for 50 and um, they're the micro size with adapters. So you can use them for GoPros, you can use them for drones, you can use them for cameras, like whatever you want. Those are always a great gift and a great stocking stuffer if you're looking for little things for photographers. Okay, so gift number three 
I want to mention I'm not sponsored by any of this stuff. This is just gifts that I truly find valuable in my business and that I think all other photographers would find extremely valuable as well. Gift number three is a MagMod system. Now this could range from super affordable to very expensive depending on what you want to buy them but I could tell you my MagMod system I started off with the wedding package and it comes with so many things and I literally use it on every single shoot and it just offers different forms of light modifications to off-camera flash and it is phenomenal. I actually think that my next purchase is going to be a MagMod diffuser because they are so amazing and they just like they make everything go way faster. It's great. So MagMod, link below also. Okay, and number four is a LED light for travel. So I bring this light everywhere when I travel because sometimes I want to film on the go, but also if I'm in like an engagement session and it gets dark and I want to do a little video, I just pop this little guy on my camera and I have an external form of light. It's amazing. And it also takes double A's, which is nice because you can find those anywhere. And um, so I'm going to show you how powerful this light can be. Now, one thing to consider when you're buying this for a gift is this does not have Kelvin adjustment. So it's one color. It does come with a CTO filter. So you could make the color of the light a lot warmer, but this thing is awesome. Look at that. Yes. Okay. And that's not even full power. This is full power, way too bright, but you get the picture. So on this one's by Newer. Again, the link will be below. Now, gift number five, a little UV filter or ND filter. These come in handy so often when I'm shooting. I don't really use the UV filters that much anymore, but the ND filters are great. They're really affordable. Um, this one is the Tiffin 72 millimeter UV filter. So you can find these on Amazon too. They range from really affordable, cheap ND filters all the way to really, really expensive. The more money you're gonna spend on an ND filter, the better quality the glass. So if you're looking for a really good one, Peter McKenna makes great ND filters. And then you can also find the really, really nice ones on bnh.com. Number six is my new favorite, favorite, favorite backpack, and it's a Camrette backpack. I'm gonna show you right now. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh my God. Anyway, so it's not full right now because I'm filming on my gear right now, but I use that backpack every single shoot. I use it for travel. It also has a laptop sleeve. It is the best bag that I've ever bought, and it's so cute and stylish. Here's a couple pictures of me sporting my camera bag on the go. Okay, number seven. If you wanna look like a complete professional on your next shoot, I suggest getting a hold fast double strap. Okay, so this one is called the hold fast money maker. And I'm telling you, it's because you will book so many more shoots wearing this camera strap. You look so professional, so put together. I have gotten so many comments on this hold fast strap about how cool and professional I look wearing it. I highly recommend getting it. Um, I also recommend buying a leather conditioner for it because especially when you're shooting in places like Maui where it's extremely freaking hot, you will need to clean it and make sure that you're conditioning it because it's leather, so you need to take care of it. Um, but yeah, that's a really nice gift to get a photographer for Christmas. And they also make single regular straps if you don't shoot a double for weddings. They also make little handheld straps. They make everything. I'll put their website in the description below. Check them out. They have great, great stuff. Whew, this jacket's getting hot. Okay, 
number eight. I can't show you because I'm using it right now, but number eight is a Manfrotto tripod. Now you, you can get this for video work or photography work, whatever you think would work best for the person that you're buying it for. But I will put the link to two of them below so that you can see the difference. These tripods are the best in the industry. I love Manfrotto and they make really, really sturdy tripods. And it's really important to have something stable and high quality when you're putting your camera on it and then walking away from it. So Manfrotto tripod. Okay, number nine. You guys probably saw this one coming. This is the best of the best. And that is a Godox 8200. This flash has changed my life. Um, it's affordable, it is extremely powerful, and this will run you about $300 unless you find it on sale. But I can't express to you how amazing this flash is and how much it has changed my photography game from going from photos like this with a speed light flash all the way to this with the Godox. Yeah, so if you really wanna spoil a photographer this season, you can get them a new Godox 8200. They'll love you forever. And if you guys wanna watch my video about my Godox 8200, I have it right here for you. Check it out and let me know what you think. Okay, and number 10, this is probably the coolest, most trendiest gift you could get somebody this season. And that is the new Weeble S gimbal. This thing is amazing. And if you wanna see more about this gimbal, I am gonna do an unboxing video on it soon. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. But I used this when I was in New York and holy moly, here's some footage from when we were walking through Woodstock. This thing is a beast and it is so much fun to use. I highly recommend it for anyone who's into a little bit of video. This stabilizer is powerful, it's lightweight, it's also super compact. So I honestly, like I fit this in my backpack, which is unheard of. Originally, I was using one of those like glide cam, fly cam type things that are heavy and manual. I, I did not like it. It was pretty awful. <laughs> And I'm not that strong, so carrying around that big, huge thing with a bunch of weights on it, I was like, forget it, I'm getting a gimbal. And so these are pretty affordable um, for the price of about $500. You can have a brand new gimbal made by Zhuin, and this is a major, major upgrade from the last version, which was the Weeble Lab. Um, a lot of people compare this gimbal to the Ronin SC, which is, in my opinion, just as good. But when I watch the footage on YouTube side by side of the Ronin SC versus the Weeble S, I definitely liked the Weeble S a lot more. It's way more stable in my opinion. But if you want things like active track and all those things that DJI offers, then go with the Ronin SC. Anyway, this is not a gear video. <laughs> this is a gifting video. So if you wanna spoil somebody this gift, this holiday season, get them a Weeble S. They will love you. Okay, so those are my top 10 gifts to give this holiday season. I have one bonus gift offer for you today, and that is to, that is to gift your friend some Lightroom presets from my store linked below. There's a bunch of different things in there, but one of my most popular items that I sell is my Maui Vibe collection of presets. It's vibrant, it's colorful, it's beautiful, and it's a digital product. So you could honestly buy this on Christmas day if you wanted to and email it over to them. Or what you could do is buy it, print out a little receipt and then give it to them in a card, letting them know that you're gonna email it to them tonight, something like that. Anyway, it's a great gift idea um, and they're pretty affordable too. 
So that is it for today, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, leave me a comment below and let me know. And I'm curious what you're buying for your photographer friends this holiday season. Lastly, in the description below, you're gonna find a link to my free Lightroom preset, as well as my five ways that you can make money as a photographer in 2020 this year. So I'm challenging you to get out there today and take some photos. You have all the tools, and then I want you to show me what you create in my private Facebook group. It is called Create and Capture, and it's a private space for me to go over all things photography. So from settings and gear, to honestly anything, if you have questions, we're talking about it over there. So if you're a photographer or you're just getting into this, head on over to my Facebook group and request to join. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your fellow photographer friends, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much, you guys. Happy holidays.